Hello everyone, uh, I was just thinking it would be so nice if you'd join me to do a nice little painting together. I'll try and explain things as we go along and what we're doing. Now we're going to do a, t a canal scene. You can use any brush you want, prop a nice little uh, size 6 or a size 8 will do and we'll I'll explain as we go along so I'm going to wet the sky in first then I'm going to get some cobalt blue pop some of my palette cobalt not we're not doing anything super special now one of this blue streak in here is leaving a white streak like it's imitating a white cloud going across when the wind is whispering it, whispering it and it's whispering whispering it across you know what I mean it pushes it across the cloud like now now that what we're using there and it was I wet it a little bit not much now, the paper it's a watercolour paper you know but uh, depending on whether some watercolour papers will it'll be very wet on the surface so don't wet it but if it soaks in pretty quick then you can wet it now get your cobalt blue like that and get a little bit of light red it's called light red it's dirty this so but when you put your red with the cobalt that red It'll turn it into a grey colour, and you can have like a a, a cloudy grey cloud underneath there going across, and one there, and one across the bottom like that. Now that's your sky, but if you just do it blue all over, we'll be quite happy. Now the next thing to do is just wash this brush out again. See, wash it out like that. Rub it on your towel and then screw it along the bottom so that it disappears, that blue. You know why we're doing that is because if we won't put some trees in or anything here, it'll, we, we'll, not be put it, we'll be able to put it in and they'll be able to show better. Now what we're doing next, we're going to do a canal scene. Now when you're doing, when you're doing a, a, a canal or a roadway or anything like that, we're, you have a converging point. Don't do it too close together. Give yourself plenty of room on both sides, like say like this, and there's a distance away and a little, say you had a little bridge there a distance away, and you want to converge, go down this way here, along the canal to that little bridge. Now you're doing it on this side as well. Now you can see, you've, you've all this width on either side, all that width there. So don't want to think, well, it's down here. Do what you should actually is. I know it's hard to do and it's hard to get out of your mind this. But it's perspective in everything. And you can't worry about width wise go plenty wide if we were doing this down here to a road do it down here as well but give it plenty width because you and then this is your eye level say here there so you see your next portion of your drawing is going to come to a point like this now let me show you this now get your brush Oh, I'm just using any brush you can. Get your brush and we'll get some more cobalt and some ultramarine together. Make enough to do this full canal here. This is this canal, a bit stronger than that, yeah? This is your canal here. Now look, I'm doing it just like this. Nothing special, just roughly. Not, not, can you see I'm doing it rough? 
I'm just doing it like this here. Now that's okay like that. We'll put a little touch of ultramarine in if you like, on it if you like as well. But that'll be okay like that, with your, just with your cobalt. Now, have you done that for me? Yeah. Now what we've done, we've made the canal, now we're going to make the towpath down that side. On this side, we're not bothering about the towpath. We're going to let the the grasses and everything and the trees and the brambles and everything go over, right over. Apart from this side, we'll put in a towpath. Oh, what have we got there? Oh, I shouldn't have touched it. Don't touch it once you've done it. That's a bad thing I've just done. Now, the next thing, get... I'm going to dry that. Now you can do the same. Dry it off with a dryer. If you've got plenty of experience and you're bold enough, you can use a bigger brush. But I think myself you'd be better using um, a smaller brush, like uh, one size 6 or a size 8. Um, like this is, a, this is one. Um, size, size eight, and it's um, is it size eight? Yeah, I'm right. A size eight, there you see, and it's a, a long brush. But you could use an ordinary shorter brush. Now this this one is is a nylon and very very pointed, and you can be very detailed with this. Now. I'll leave it with you. If you want to do it detail, you can do it or not. Whichever way you do it, it'll be fine, I can promise you. So I was, I'll use a brush like this. And we've got a, a fine brush as well. A pointer brush. So we've enough to go on with now. Now, you know, our next thing, we can put a, the tour path in there, just a little bit of... Raw sienna. If I put water in, keep putting water in, keeping it so that you don't run dry. So this is your tour path here. That's it. That's your tour path done. Right now, on top of this here, to your tour path, we're going to put some green ray. So we'll pick some. Now I've got some lemon yellow here. It's a Windsor yellow because I like to use lemon. It's handy, you can put Payne's grey with it and get a green. You can put virtually any blue you have with your lemon yellow and get a nice green. Now this one I've just put in with it now, you see, is an ultramarine with that lemon yellow. These are two lemon yellows. It's cheaper two lemon yellow. Now if you want to make that more browny, well you put a little bit of either ochre or pins, not ochre, <coughs> excuse me a minute, or raw sienna, which is virtually the same. And put a little bit of that in, you, in that. Now here say a bramble so you can like let it go like that see then touch a little bit of your or you can right make it a variety by adding a little bit of colours in as you go along now would you believe that'll be enough if you put a little bit of brown, burnt umber into it or even hey, a touch of black I'll just show you what I touch of black in it all the day. Now this is a secret. Now, got that. 
Now, just underneath here, we have to put the the brickwork all in the canal in, haven't we? The side, the brickwork. And the, the brickwork, uh, you could either do it brown with a bit of black in it or a bit of blue in it, most likely better. Just down this, a, a fine line here. We'll put it darker in a minute. We'll line it out darker. Okay, now have you got that? Uh, see, we'll put a little bit of light green on top of this. It'll make it into a, a distant hill. Okay, there we are. Now I'll go to this side here and do the same. Now this is going straight into the water. Like that. No, that's it. Now we're getting along nicely now there. So we'll dry it off. Now we can put a nice field in over there at the back. Uh, we'll get a little bit of burnt sienna, which is on a ready cast. Burnt sienna is on a ready cast. And we'll put it over there. Now that's a field over there. No, you have a field. Now this side, we're going to put some buildings. Now, ready for this? Now watch this. Now, this is yellow. It could be cad yellow will do. Put it yellow, see there. Any yellow there. And this is cad red. Watch. Now this is going to be a bright. We're going to put it a nice bright. Little house there. Oh, I should have made it once that one. And then another one here. Larger. There. Oh now we're going to put a tree there, a tree there, and a big tree at the back. Now you could put a little village there if you like, but we won't do that. What what we'll do, this is simple. We'll get some cad uh, not cad uh, cobalt blue and a little bit of Ultramarine, push it together, make enough for a for a hill at back. We'll have that going up a little bit. I made a mistake and gone over. Okay. We can always use that. So, all right. All right. There we are. Now we'll put some Uh, 
that there. Right, okay now, got that. Now we're going to put some trees in, so we'll dry it off. Okay now, look to the right. We'll put some trees in now. So we'll get some raw sienna. Some dark blue and a bit of lemon again. Paints grey into it if you like, get it dark. And we'll just put the our two trees in here. Um, all here. One there. Just a bit wider, eh? Now I'm going to put some dark brown in it and some dark blue indigo into it. Now that's okay there, then we'll put another one here and one there, very small. We could put some along here. Now are you with me up to now? Yeah. Now we're we'll putting a darker line under there. In one moment, we'll be darkening our trees. So if you make them dark, don't worry at this stage, because you can always change them later. If we do them light, say so we did them light, like a light colour like that. See. Wait a minute. So we, we, so we did this, see. No, we've done them way too light on any old way. What? No, because you get a light in trees, so what you do next, you get your indigo and you get some dark brown, like Van Dyke. And really, look how dark it makes it. That's uh, indigo and Van Dyke. But it's still green. It has a greeny castle in it. Now, let's start with this one. Now, see how dark that is? Over that green. So we put it a little bit higher.
pull that across. Now we'll put our and here. And then we'll put some little bits in here. Now, you see there's not much in that, but it works, doesn't it? Right, now we'll not have it too dark. We'll just put this in. Can you do that? You can, can't you? Just a bit of a whirl. A twist, a whirl like that. Come across and then a whirl. Need a little bit over there. there we could strengthen that to uh, this here by putting more red in it let's see if it would work yeah take that up There we are. Now we'll just take a little bit of shadow over there. You know you can I've got you've got white here. Have you seen this white I've got? I've got some white here. Liquitex white. And if you wanted, 
you can put some in there to reflect the white. Now we'll try that, shall we? You fancy that? And you can also put your lines in there if you want with this. Colour it up a little bit. Also, what you can do when you're doing your darks, this is just to with the yellow calligraphy ink and if you put this with a little bit of uh, Payne's grey you get a lovely dark and you, you can dip in that as you, and then into your key, because it's only watercolour you can use your watercolours dip in your yellow ink then into your watercolours I have a feeling that's what uh, Mr. Wesson did. <laughs> I'm, I shouldn't be saying these things, but it is a fact. Don't forget to give it some width. And don't forget you can put anything in here, just blobs. It's a shape. Blob it on. As long as you've got the shapes, it, the people will know it's... Uh, what it is, as long as you've got the shapes. Now it's going dark again. Now I'm going to just put some uh, trees in here. Watch this. Can you see that? Another ear. The black will go on top of this and show. There, see, through there, through that. Come across here, through there. And then go right up through that one. And through that one. And bring one over to this here. Like that. Okay. Now we'll take the same on this. Oh, caught that. <laughs> I thought that was the accidental then. I think it's a bit thicker there, that's all. That's the rain you can hear. I think we'll try that as a bit of white, shall we? See if it'll work. Shake it a lot. Better clean the brush out first in case it's not clean, you know. I don't know, I don't know why. Not from there. Is 
it going right, eh? Let me just give it another shake, this bottle. I think it needs a piece of something in it to knock it about. Looks like it's gone a bit thicker at the bottom. There we are. So there you are. Now do you remember what I've been telling you about this width here? I'm not being too fussy about making things perfect. Let the Luca on. Imagine him what these are. So don't be stressed out if you don't get it perfect. Thanks for looking in and thanks for being with me. I hope you have a go with me, this one. Hi everyone, be good.